<clears throat> it's Thursday and uh, I'm gonna try to make a frame for the for the well. We will use some black plywood and the frame is for to make it make it possible for us to pour concrete here so it won't fall down and also to make like a straight edge here um, yeah so finally can we can work with some wood that's actually something I have done before so I'm looking forward to it and uh, we will see how it goes Friday morning now, Salma is with Frida and I'm on my way to our local hardware store or ironmongery or what it's called uh, to buy some material for the concrete uh, so this morning we will spend running back and forth with the wheelbarrow and uh, carrying a lot of bags fun This is one of the main streets here in Birgu. Uh, it's a very nice street. It's quite narrow, but cars can drive here. Uh, here we have the local council. And uh, here we have the main square of Birgo. Uh, it's a construction site at the moment. They will make it look nicer. And here is one of the cafes that I used to go to to have a cup of coffee. And here we have the hardware store. Hello! Okay, uh, I'm here in the storage room of the Ironmongery hardware store. In total, we need at least, I think, to start with three bags of cement. We need six bags of sand and nine bags of stone. Uh, it will be a couple of runs. Let's go.
uh, I have done three barrel, wheelbarrows now and uh, it's heavy, it's very heavy and the hill to the house feels like it's getting steeper and steeper for every turn uh, I think there will be two more runs and then yeah, two more runs bought ourselves three bags of cement, 10 bags of sand and 15 bags of stone. The recipe we're trying to, the, re the recipe we're going for is one part cement, two parts sand and three parts stone. But these bags were only about 15 kilos and the cement was 25 so uh, I hope that it is mass and not like volume that you count when you mix it it's Saturday morning it, I didn't film much yesterday uh, but I spent all night uh, trying to fix the pipes because I noticed that we had some leakage actually in the connections between the pipes and the mixer and this would be inside the wall so we can't have it like that and uh, I, I had to cut all the pipes uh, and redo it and I did it three times but I can't make it uh, tight uh, it's still uh, it's a small 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 leak and I'm trying to use this uh, thread tape uh, but uh, it won't do so now this morning I have uh, managed to find some hemp this is like the old traditional style something I actually have used before uh, so uh, we will we will try with that uh, hopefully I will succeed <laughs> Absolutely no water coming out here. Uh, so, yeah, the old traditional method works. Uh, now we just have to do something about this as well. Because as you can see, there is small drops coming, and that's with the tape. So we're gonna do. We have to cut that as well. Um, and put hemp there as well but uh, I just received a phone call and uh, all 
we have a big delivery coming with all the delivery have arrived and now we are 120 Yutong blocks richer and some other some material for the for the bit, uh, concrete blocks and also we bought some flat and angle iron profiles uh, to do reinforcements in the kitchen with angle iron and the flat and to have for the well I think it's fun with every with every delivery we come like one step closer to to completion so now I have a lot of things so yeah it's just start working uh, we have to fix one more pipe though before we can start pour concrete here <laughs> Finally, there is no more leakage from the taps. Uh, yeah, everything is wet now because I uh, have watered down the floor and walking back and forth here to pack it a little. Um, my lovely wife brought me some coffee and uh, I'm preparing myself to start to do a test pour with the concrete. Uh, yeah, so I think hmm, I think we will start with the pour in here in the shower. No, we will not, because that's the hardest part. Uh, we will start here in the kitchen. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna mix some concrete and then we are pouring.